Zell Boy Army. What is up? It's your boy Zelonius with your man Ainsley. I'm here today with the first of FIFA 19 news, FIFA 19 videos. I've been saying for a while on stream that I'm going to be producing a lot more FIFA 19 content for YouTube. And here we are. EA have released a bunch of new icons today. Some very exciting looking ones. And this video is basically going to be just a roundup of all the icons that they've announced up till now. I'm going to look at the ones they've announced from their babies all the way to the prime. Uh, we'll have a look through them all. I'll give my opinion on how I think they'll look in game. Of course we can't see the in-game stats yet. But just from looking at the card, I'll give a prediction of how useful I think they'll be. If they'll be a top tier card, they'll be useful in a pro team. And just, yeah, we'll have a look at them all, see what EA have given us. And the most exciting news I've probably seen today, on top of all the new icons we've got, is every icon from FIFA 18 is going to be in FIFA 19. So that's pretty exciting. So, to start us off, we're going to be looking at Socrates. He was the first one to tweet today. Socrates was six foot four. Some of the most people won't know about him. Even his baby card looks pretty good. But if we look at that prime, pretty good pace for a cam. 84 physical is going to be very good. 90 shoot, 91 passing, 90 dribbling. He looks basic like an attacking midfield version of Hullet. I say attacking midfield because Hullet can play centre mid defensive mid because he's got better defending. But from what I've seen and what I've hear, heard from people, Socrates could have 5 star weak foot. Probably at least 4 star skills. He was Brazilian after all. If he's got that physical, that pace and 5 star weak foot and he's that tall, he'll be a monster. He definitely has a chance of making it into pro teams. He'll be probably one of the top tier icons, especially at a 91 rate. So he'll be very useful. I don't think he'll cost as much as people might expect for a card that good because he's only a 91. So I definitely recommend trying him out. We'll have to see if he's got the 5 star weak foot. If he does, that'll be a game changer for how good he'll be. We've got Katusa from FIFA 17. We didn't get him last year. First one that I've seen that they've made a prime who's not a 90 or above. 89, probably fair for Gattu, so he probably wasn't incredible as a player, but had a good reputation. He'll probably have very high aggression. The 73 pace, along with being fairly small, just means I don't think he's going to be that usable at top tier. But it'll be a fun card, he'll have very good interceptions. Early on in the game, if you have him, he'll do a very good job defensively. He'll have very high interceptions, the aggression will be good. He'll be... His passing, to be fair, surprised me, only 72. But I imagine he'll have pretty good short passing and long passing. It'll just be the free kicks and crossing that lower it. I don't think any icons are unusable. But at a high top tier level, is not going to be good enough. So, fun card. Be cool to use. Don't think he's going to be top tier. Luis Figo. It's interesting. We'll get to the right winger everyone's been waiting for soon enough. But Figo, his 92 prime looks like it could be pretty good. Even that 88 cam could be interesting. A cam with 88 pace, very good dribbling. That could be really useful. Luis Figo's 92 though. He's going to have pretty good physical for a winger. Be very quick, a good shot, very good dribbling. That 92 prime, I think people will pick best over Figo. But it'll be a very usable card. and It'll be not quite top tier, but I don't think it'll be far off. The 90 by the looks of it is just a slightly worse version of the 92, but all three of Figo's cards look very usable. Okay, Balak. This is a card that I've talked about for a while in the past, thinking that Balak would be a very good card on FIFA. He's 86, it'll be okay, but it's too slow to be top tier at all. That 91, it might just be outside top tier because of the pace. However, it's a very useful card, very quick, very good physical, but he's tall, He'll have a great long shot, decent dribbling. I think he's like 6'3", 6'2", so he's just going to be a very good all-round player. Be able to play defensive mid, centre mid. Cam, I think he'll be a little bit clunky and a bit slow for that. But he'll be able to make it into top teams. Very good card. Depending on what cards are out at the time, maybe he'll make it into pro teams. Layman, keeper, not a lot to say. Don't think there's much hype about this card. I mean, useful to have another icon keeper to link. German keeper can link to Hummels, Boateng, players like that. Somewhat useful. Don't think he'll be that popular, but there you go. 
George Best was one of the most hyped icons on FIFA 17. People have been asking for a long time to get him in 19. Those people were very gutted when he wasn't in 18. Here you go. He's got a prime this time. His 93 looks absolutely lit. Every single one of these cards will be pretty good, I think. He'll be one of the best dribblers in the game. His driven shots, shooting will be amazing. Very quick, very good passing. He will make it into pro teams. He'll probably be used at events. He'll be one of the best cards this year, I imagine. I'm excited to use this card. I'll at the very least try the loan out. One of the things I'll be doing on this channel on FIFA 19 is I'll try to get as many of the prime icon loans that I can so I can review them for the channel, give you guys my opinion on them. I probably will end up getting best prime anyway. Looks an amazing card. I'm excited to see the in game stats. It's good to see you have listened and given us one of the primes that we really was hoping for. He will probably cost a few million minimum anyway. Vieri, his pace isn't dreadful, but and his dribbling doesn't look too bad, but I think because he's quite tall, I think the balance will be quite low, and with not the best pace up front, I don't think he's going to be that great. He will be a useful card. He's gonna, he's not, he's not too slow to be unusable, but anyone who's used the team of the season, Kane, will know what it's like. The rating doesn't matter too much if they're clunky and slow. He'll have a great shot. It'll be amazing in the air. Be a great target man. But for years, FIFA's been dominated by pacey strikers. I'll give him a try, but I don't think he'll be that great. But it's nice to have some of these cheaper icons. Stoichkov's one that I think could go under the radar. A 92 with 92 pace. Very good physical. That 86 physical means he's going to be strong, have very good balance and quick. He could make it into pro teams potentially, how, depending on how he plays in game. I think he was 4 star, 4 star on 17. So it could be interesting. Even his 90 could be a very useful left wing, very good physical. I think he'll be a very interesting card to use. The pace, physical, and shooting with very good dribbling is going to be amazing. I think that prime will be a top tier icon. Probably isn't going to be as good as Cruyff, Ronaldo, or Eusebio, that's the problem. But maybe on the bench as a very good impact sub. Who knows, depending on the in-game stats, how he plays, he could be very usable. But he'll probably be a bit cheap in the top tier and you'll get a very good card. I think he'll go under the radar and he'll be a very useful card. Giggs. Two-star weak foot. Basically, if he's got that again, he's almost useless at a top tier level. But he'll be very fast, very good dribbler. His physicals and shooting aren't that good. I was hoping that they'd maybe make his older card like a centre mid, defensive mid that he played for United in the last couple of years of his career. But he'll be fun to use, he'll be rapid. He'll be useful, very good crossing, but crossing doesn't matter too much on FIFA generally. Could change on this year. I've yet to play it enough to really know. But United fans will be happy to see him. He'll be useful, but he'll never make it into a pro top team with a two star weak foot if that stays the same. Skulls, again, a card that I'll, I'll try. Maybe gets prime later on in the year for fun. He'll have a great long shot. His passing will be about as good as it gets. People will be complaining, saying, why has he only got 91 passing on his card? That would be because of his crossing and free kicks. His short, long passing will probably be mid to high 90s. But he's too slow, small, not good enough at dribbling, not strong enough to probably be that usable. He'll be a good card, but... He'll just play like a Crows, somewhat useful, but he'll never be able to compete against the Vieira's Hullets of the world. On FIFA, at least. Zola looks a little bit like Del Piero, just a bit of a worse version. He won't have the five-star weak foot, but he'll be a very good dribbler. Be quite quick. He'll probably have better balance, to be fair, than Del Piero's quite small Zola. That 85 could be quite a useful card, very quick. He'll have very good dribbling, decent shooting. Prime will probably be best at a cam centre four type role. Very good passing, dribbling, good long shot. I think he'll be quite useful. He's not going to be a top tier icon, there's better ones than him. But he'll probably be fairly cheap and quite a fun player to use. This was the exciting news that we saw today. The class of 19 joins all the icons from FIFA 18. We've not, as far as I'm aware, we've seen the Gerard baby, middle and prime card. The middle Gerard's quicker, looks pretty useful. I think Gerard and Lampard, they're not going to be as good as the, I think they should be because I think EA have underrated the pace, but they'll be near enough top tier in terms of the rest of the stats, but they won't quite make it into pro event. 
pro teams events probably because of the physicals Cruyff I've heard could be 5 star 5 star if that's his prime with 5 star 5 star he'll be an incredible cab near enough top tier probably be able to make it in some pro teams Isabio I don't know what his weak foot would be I imagine it'd be 4 or 5 star if it's 4 star be pretty useful just a worse R9 but he'll make it he's top tier icon he'll make it into good teams Rivaldo will at least have 5 star skills not sure about his weak foot but it'd be a very useful card be fun one to use a bit like Dino but Dino will be better I'd imagine but some very good prime icons there yeah we've got a new tweet of the Buchagueno's back that that would be a very good card to be honest I used Buchagueno quite a lot on FIFA 17 I think they had a 90 rated version of him on 17 94 pace though with that dribble and shoot he will be Absolutely amazing. I'm excited to see how this card plays. I think we might get Nedved, some players like that. I heard Roy Keane's been announced by Castro. This video I'm putting it out in the, about half seven UK time, so some icons may be announced after it. Probably talk about them in future videos. Um, I'm interested to see how EA play it this year in terms of the primes. There's so many prime icons that. If they want to do Prime Icon SBCs, they're going to have to release them a lot quicker this year. But so many usable cards this year. We've still got some of the icons I've already announced. Makaleli. I think he's a little bit pace short of being top, top tier. He could be very, very good, but he'll be quite small. I'm not sure he's quick enough. I think Kante will definitely be better when he gets to Team of the Year, but it's a pretty good card, Makaleli. He'll make it. Into good teams, to be fair. Seidorf, depending on what his weak foot is, he's pretty good physically, but I think Balak could just be a better version of him. Cannavaro, very quick. Good, def oh, 95 defense, incredible. He's quite small, so I think that'll let him down, but it'll be a useful centre back. If he gets released early, it'll be a very useful card. Roberto Baggio, 93. Again, Depends on the week for that makes a big difference, but have, he could have five star skills. He'll be a very useful card. I don't think he'll be top tier. I think Cruyff will be above him in that cam centre forward draw, but he'll be a very useful card. Raul, again, there's better than him, but he'll be very good. He'll probably be cheap compared to what he should be. Be a very useful card. If you look at the icons we're getting, though, we're getting a lot of the 17 ones back. Raul, Baggio, Cannavaro's back from 17, Seidorf, Makaleli new, Balak, Socrates, Stoichkov's back, lots of the 17 ones, Gerard, Lampard, Rivaldo, Cruyff, Eusebio. We've been indulged with some incredible cards. I don't, let's refresh to see if he ever announced any more yet. Uh, it doesn't look like it. There might be a few more announced. I'm hoping for Nedved. He'll have five star week for a prime. Nedved could be very good. But as you can see, boys, some incredible cards. I'm interested to see if EA announce soon how they're going to distribute them, like I said. If they're still doing Prime Icon SBCs, they're going to have to release them very quickly to get through them all. You don't want a card coming out in July. It's exciting times. The FIFA 19 hype is generating now. I'm getting closer to launch day. I'm going to be doing 12-hour streams, pack up, and drafts, getting these icons for you, boys. It's exciting times. When the rating reveals come out, I'll be doing videos on them. If you've liked this video, please smash the like button. I want to see what type of content you guys want. Let me know in the comments what you think of the video, if there's ways I can improve it, type of content you want to see. If you've not done it before, please check out my Twitch stream. There's a link in the description below. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Big thank you to everyone who's watched. Catch you later, boys.